some chemotherapies cause all body hair to fall out. Other chemotherapies only affect the hair on your head. In general, hair may start to thin or fall out 7 to 21 days after you start chemotherapy. It may start to grow back within a month of finishing chemotherapy. If you have hair loss, there are many options available to you. You can wear wigs, scarves, or hats. It is your decision. You can also contact the American Cancer Society to participate in their Look Good, Feel Better program, a program that helps patients adjust to changes in their appearance. Talk with your healthcare team for more information about these resources. Your fingernails may become brittle or discolored. They may also lift up from the nail bed. To protect your nails, keep your fingernails short. Do not cut your cuticles or get professional manicures or pedicures. Also, wear gloves when you garden or work with your hands. Pay attention to how your nails look. If the skin around them is red or puffy, you may have an infection. Tell your healthcare team if this happens. You may have dry skin. Use an unscented moisturizing cream or lotion. Do not use perfumes or scented soaps. You may also sunburn more easily. Use a sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher when outdoors, even if you do not normally sunburn. You may notice a change in color in your skin. This usually goes away over time. It is common for people on some chemotherapies to have nerve-related side effects. Peripheral neuropathy, a condition that causes tingling, burning, weakness, or numbness in the hands and feet can occur. If this interferes with your day-to-day -day activities, such as writing, walking, buttoning a shirt, or using a zipper, tell your healthcare team. You may feel clumsy or have difficulty picking up objects. Peripheral neuropathy may be reversible if it's caught early. You may also feel pain or muscle aches as a result of neurological changes during chemotherapy. Be sure to tell your healthcare team if you have any of these symptoms. Chemo brain is a term used to describe changes in memory, attention, concentration, or other mental abilities. You may experience it as a result from chemotherapy treatment. Talk with your healthcare team about ways to manage chemo brain. Your sexual health may be affected by chemotherapy treatment. Most patients can continue sexual activity during treatment. However, chemo may temporarily decrease your sexual desire. You may also experience side effects such as vaginal dryness or hot flashes. Talk with your healthcare team about this as they may be able to help. Your ability to have children may be affected. If you think you may want to have children in the future, talk with your healthcare team about fertility before you start chemotherapy. Changes in a woman's menstrual cycle can also occur while on chemo. It is important to talk to your healthcare team about birth control as chemotherapy may cause birth defects. You may still become pregnant even if you do not have a period. During treatment, men may have trouble getting or maintaining an erection. This usually returns to normal after treatment. Chemo may reduce sperm cell count. This can affect a man's ability to reproduce. It does not affect his ability to have sexual intercourse.